Hello! On this video I'm going to show you a few things regarding the collets, the end mills and the spindle and how to use them properly and uh, a few things, uh, a few ask, uh, common asking questions um, about uh, both of these uh, tools. Okay, the first thing is that um, the collect exists in many different sizes and because uh, we have two different uh, measurement systems we have them on metric and on imperial system so it's very very important that uh, you know which one you are going to use the according to your end mill the collets are very 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 precise tools and um, uh, sometimes you can uh, make a mistake to mix between um, uh, both of the systems for example this is a three millimeter um, collet this is a one eight collet so the size of this and the size of this on metric this is three millimeters size exactly and this is 3.125 so it's very close they are very close together and probably you can use this uh, one eight end mill inside the um, three millimeter collet and uh, the other way you can use a three millimeter end mill inside the one eight collet but this is not correct i'm going to show you <coughs> why and uh, um, uh, some things that that will happen also on these ones this is a six millimeter uh, sorry this is one quarter end mill and this is six millimeter end mill so also they they are very similar the size is almost the same it's only a um, a little a little bigger the the one quarter collet and this is the problem so let me show you the three millimeter collet if you insert the three millimeter end mill inside it fits perfect it doesn't have any play at all it, it fits snug inside the the collet now if i use the 18 with a three millimeter it fits but it have a little play just a little bit not much uh, probably if i put this into the spindle and then tie this this collet this will work but that's not that's not that's not good because you can uh, um you are forcing the collet to to tag the the end mill and this is not right that's why you need to use the correct end mill now if you take a look at the 18 inside the 18 collet it's also fixed perfect snug so that's the correct collet for this end mill and so the other way this is the one quarter and you can see the end mill of one quarter fits perfect and the six millimeter end mill it fits but have a little play now the other way around the, this is the six millimeter end mill uh, collette and the six millimeter end mill fits this one maybe if you force it you can you can put it inside and that's also wrong if you put something bigger inside the collet you could damage the the collet or you could damage also the um, the cone on the on the spindle so that's why it's very very important to use the correct end mill with the correct collet never mix a uh, metric with imperial okay now the second thing that um, is commonly asked is when you have a new a brand new uh, a spindle nut and maybe this one this is brand new also uh, collet for for this how how do you use these three parts okay the correct way to insert the collet inside the spindle it's you must con uh, insert this the um, collet first into the nut the knot inside have a special um, a special machining 
and it also have a, <coughs> a rubber ring that holds the collecting place. So when you put it inside, you press it and you will hear a click. There. Now the collet it's inside and it doesn't fall out. It's holded inside the machining part that, that have inside. Also the collet when you tag this inside it will flat this into the surface. Okay, so this is the first step. You need to put this inside and then you put the knot inside the um, the spindle and after you put the, the collet inside the spindle you put the end mill. Don't don't uh, put the um, the uh, the end mill inside the collet first uh, try to put it in. no 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 this is the this is the correct way. You need to put the collet inside the knot first so it have the the correct position to hold it. Some people what what they do is to put the, the collet inside the spindle first, but no, that's wrong. Now how do you get out the collet if if it's hard to get? Okay, what I do is this. I put my finger here, I press it, and then I move it side to side and sometimes this came out. If it if it, this is very very hard to take out, uh, let me try this one and see if this is harder. Oh yeah. Okay, this is much much harder. If I try to take this out, it can I can do it, but it's hard. And also when you put it back, there, it's also hard. What you can do is to make this little tool. Uh, we have a tutorial on the um, uh, on the web on the uh, YouTube how to build this this little tool. It's very simple. It's just uh, a piece of acrylic with a, like a little cone that save your fingers tagged in the uh, the um, the collet for you and then you can try to open it with this uh, I think I got the wrong one maybe this is just a test let me see if I have the correct one here sorry this must be the, the correct one oh yes so this fits tight and you can press it there so now it's it's uh, it's pressed against here and then I just turn the knot side to side. Oh, almost got it again. Let's do it again. Press it hard. Uh, side to side. And there it is. Ah, oh, almost got it. Let me see if I can push it with my fingers. Yep. Yeah. So what it does, what does this is to press this here and close it for you so it save it save your fingers for um for pressing this part now another important thing about this it's that never 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 use metal tools to to try to take them out from here if you use pliers you will damage the the collet don't use pliers uh, if you cannot uh, pull them out try to make this tool try to push them uh, from here but never try to use a uh, metal pliers or something else from metal because you if you damage this the collet is done it's not going to work or you can damage the cone on the on the spindle uh, sometimes you can use uh, a little piece of wood if you if you have uh, problems with that but uh, again don't use metal okay because you you will damage this now, second thing that uh, is commonly asked is, besides how to how to put the um, the um, the anvil here, it's that many people just change the anvil and leave the collet inside, and they keep working. That's also wrong. Why? Because Particles, if you can see the collet here, it has small um, uh, cuts. So very fine particles can get inside these this little uh, cuts. So when you lose the collet, this opens. Then opens and all the particles stay inside. So when you put the, the end mill back and tag this again, those particles get 
into or can get between the end mill and the collet and that's wrong too you have to take out the nut and clean these parts always uh, maybe on a single job you can use it one or two times but um, <clears throat> when you when you are aware that you're using the spindle too much and you have uh, dust and particles here it's better to clean to clean this up um, I haven't cleaned this up, so maybe it has particles inside, so let's see. So what I do is to press this button, this lock the mechanism on the, um, on the spindle. Then I put my wrench here, oops, sorry, and I open it. Now this is, this is how you open this. You press this, and here you will feel a second pressure. You cannot, you cannot uh, take it out with your fingers. You need to use the wrench again. There, that's the second, second pressure, and then you can take it out. Now here, if you want, you can take out the, the end mill, and then you can put another one inside. But in this case, I'm going to show you how many particles get inside. So I'm going to take out the, the nut. And here you can see all this little dust and here. Okay, this is rubber, that's why I'm trying to hit this so you can see the you can see all this dust. All these particles and dust can get into inside the collet. And if I have the collet here, you see all these are inside here. So if I put this out, take a look at all this dirt. That's why you need to clean this. Uh, you can clean it with compressed air and take out the particles, that's good. Um, uh, personally, I, I use isopropylic alcohol, so I can, I can take out uh, most of the particles here. Uh, but there are special chemicals to avoid uh, rust and it uh, works better for this. Also, the nut. Just be careful when you clean the nut because, uh, as I told you before, it have a rubber uh, seal inside, and you don't want that rubber to get uh, came out. Okay. And so let's uh, do again how to how to put back the um, the um, the collet. Okay, I just cleaned with a uh, little blow. So don't do this. Never. Never do never do this. Never put the um, the um, the collet inside the, the cone. Many other times what happens is that if you do this and then you put here this and then tie and put the knot. Many many times what happens is that people have problems because this stays inside. Uh, of course, because it, it doesn't have the um, it doesn't have the support of the of the nut that's why it gets stuck and some people ask oh okay so this is stuck how how can i get uh, get out this from the from the spindle again don't use pliers because you you will damage the collet what you can do is to use a small piece of wood um, and then try to try to hit the the collet a little from one side and another side another side just a little bit until it loses so when it's loose you can take it out now after many many uses inside the um, the cone uh, if you don't clean it often you you can see that the cone inside can get stains that's bad for the collets too so it's good to clean this part too use just um, a cotton swab and isopropyl alcohol and you can you can clean the the inside of this um, cone and that uh, make the the spindle last uh, longer okay so remember if you have your um you do maintenance to your spindle and your tools and everything they are going to last a long time so the correct way to put back the um, end mill is to put first the nut, the collet inside the nut, then we put this here, 
we block with the little button there you can see it can go all the way I lose it a little bit and then I put there sorry I put the end mill and tag this now another thing that uh, many people uh, uh, ask is how deep I'm going to put the the end mill inside the um, the spindle if you see the the end mill have a thread length sorry um a cut length so this cut length it has to be uh, out from the from the collet never put the um, the cut sorry uh, there never put the cut the uh, cut part inside the um, the collet never only use the shaft and the uh, the best way to uh, I mean not the best way but uh, the best depth to put the um, the shaft inside it's not all the way but maybe I don't know one eighth maybe two eighths to a uh, one quarter from the tip of the end mill that depends on the length of your of your end mill most of the end mills have enough length uh, if you have a very small end mill maybe you don't have enough length but don't leave the end mill like this don't leave too much uh, length if you if you uh, think uh, okay but my work needs to this to be longer then buy a longer end mill don't uh, put the end mill just the, the little tip put it inside maybe a, <clears throat> a little more than one quarter and that's good for holding the um, the end mill I don't know if it's one quarter maybe a little more no I think it's half sorry I'm not <laughs> I'm not used to work with uh, with uh, imperial measurements for example this end mill it's one quarter and you can see the cutter the cutter is very small but the length of the shaft is it's longer so you can put the end mill if you like maybe half an inch inside and you can leave this part out that's good another thing that you need to remember is that when you cut inside the material don't cut beyond the uh, <coughs> the uh, cutting part of the end mill you can say okay but my end mill is longer I can cut and the cutter can keep cutting below because of, uh, uh, on this part it's already cutted no you can damage uh, <coughs> your your material if you do that only use the cutter part for cutting if you want to go deeper you need to cut you need to buy a end mill with a deeper cut well and um, I hope this uh, solved some uh, common questions about this sorry if I miss um, uh, some takes here in the video and um, if you have any questions just let us know remember that you can contact us uh, to step craft support any anytime you like and um, let's know if you have any questions about this okay enjoy take care